So in the United States, we actually select the president based on the outcome of the electoral college vote. That is a vote of 538 electors uh, that are decided, or that number comes from the number of members of Congress, uh, you know, 435 members of the House, 100 senators, um, and then three electoral college uh, votes that come from the District of Columbia. This system was actually uh, came out of a compromise from the Constitutional Convention uh, that the framers uh, were mediating between a group who wanted that the national popular vote would decide uh, who was the winner of the presidency um, and a group on the other that wanted Congress to be able to pick the presidency. Instead, we have kind of this hybrid system and out of that came uh, the Electoral College. This differs from a lot of countries around the world where the winner of the presidency is the candidate who got the most votes uh, nationally. You can actually have situations in the United States where uh, you, know, you can win the popular vote but not become the president uh, or win the presidency. Uh, we actually had that outcome in 2016 where former President Donald Trump lost the popular vote but became uh, president because of the electoral college system. In the electoral college system, you often hear about this number of 270. That is the key number. That's the number that you need to get to be able to win uh, the presidency. And those votes come from um, electors that are uh, selected by the popular votes in the individual states. So across the country, you actually have all but two states where uh, the winner of the state will receive all of the electoral college votes uh, in that state. There are two states, Maine um, and Nebraska, where they split their electoral college votes. They have some of the electoral college votes that come from the winner of the statewide vote, and then some of the other votes in their state that are decided by the winner in each individual congressional district.